everyone, I'd like to share a few techniques from our recent Healing the Hurting Heart Positivity class. Three things you need to know. First, the biggest impediment to healing your hurted heart is being right. Whether you perceive you're right, whether you really are right, it doesn't really matter. The idea is when you are right, you are going to wait for an apology because you were wrong. You're going to wait for amends or you're going to wait for some kind of validation that says, hey, I'm right and you're wrong. The problem is you could wait 5, 10, or 20 years for that validation, that apology, those amends, and they may never come. And then what do you do with the hurt in your heart? So the first thing you have to remember is being right is not going to help you to heal. Second thing you need to know is that when we have been hurt, or wronged or betrayed, I always say, let us be spiritually responsible. And by that, I mean, did I play any kind of a role in this situation? So for example, when I work with a married couple and one spouse has cheated on the other, I often go and I say, did you have any idea that he or she had commitment issues? And I generally hear yes. When somebody does something, a friend is gossiping about you or something is going on, I always say, did you have an inkling that this friend was not trustworthy? And I hear yes. So when I say be spiritually responsible, I only mean what role have we played in this situation? That's all I'm saying. This is not about you beating yourself up. It just says if I've played a role in it, let me look at it, let me take responsibility, let me own it, and then let me commit to never doing that again. And I have to tell you, very often it's a piece of intuition that comes in that says, yikes, this person isn't trustworthy, or yikes, they have a commitment issue, or yikes, I don't know if this is the person to be my best friend. And what happens is we ignore the intuition because of course we want what we want, so we go after it anyway. The third thing to remember when you are trying to heal the hurted heart is that if you are focused on your hurted heart, well, that's pretty much all you're going to see and feel and know in your days and weeks. And number three in healing the hurted heart is a technique that works very quickly and very well. I want you to imagine that you have a box. And in that box, I'm going to ask you to take that hurt and place it in the box for three to five minutes each day. And during the time that hurt is in the box, I want you to imagine your life without the hurt. What would it look like? What would it feel like? What would you be like? What would you be doing? And I want you to start to dream in a way that has nothing to do with this hurt. And suddenly what happens is you begin to create new cellular memory. It's happy, it's joyful, and it's not carrying around this big hurt. So for three to five minutes into the box, Imagine your life without the hurt, and then, okay, you can take it back out of the box if you need to, or just leave it in the box and go along with your day. The idea is, if you are constantly centered on this hurt, this betrayal, waiting for that apology, waiting for those amends, whatever it is that you're waiting for, your life is interrupted. If you've ever seen the movie Girl Interrupted, well, this is life interrupted. We don't want your life to be interrupted because... We need you out there spreading high vibration, light, and positivity. Our world needs it. Our third family needs it. So please, I would ask you, consider taking your hurt, your anger, your pain, putting it into the box for three to five minutes each day, and imagine your life as if it didn't exist. Imagine your life, what you would be doing. And I promise you, that will send an energy signature of high vibration and positivity that will go out into the world for other people to enjoy. So I'm here with these three tips on how to heal the hurt at heart. Give them a try. Our students in our positivity classes, they follow the techniques each week, and each week they come back and report they're doing better. It can work for you. Just give it a try. Take care, and God bless you. We have a question from the audience. You'd like to know if putting the hurt inside the box is going to take away the hurt. Well, let me answer it this way. 
while it's inside the box, it definitely is going to take away the hurt. And as you are dreaming and creating a world without that hurt, betrayal, that is waiting for the amends, the apology, the I'm sorry, that world is where you will begin to live. And the other thing I neglected to mention is when you are really struggling with this pain, it's really easy to go to bed and put the covers over your head and, oh my gosh, ache. We've all been there. However, the minute you put your attention on someone else, you could go to a soup kitchen, you could read a book to the blind, you could just do something simple like say, hey, they're having a food drive. Let me go shop, buy a couple of canned foods and throw it in the food drive. Or, you know, during Christmas time, you see all the trees with kids' names on it. Go pick a kid's name and go buy a little gift for somebody. Just that hour that you take your mind off the pain is healing. So yes, your cells become more used to something more relaxed, more positive, and more outward oriented. Otherwise, we can just sink in and, oh my gosh, just be in dreadful pain. So yes is the answer to the question. When you use this box, you will begin to heal your hurt and betrayal. Now, just because you've done the three to five minute technique doesn't mean you have to take it back out, put it back on your chest and walk around with it. You may decide, hey, I'm going to keep it in the box for a while. No problem. In fact, the longer you keep it in the box, the better. Hope this helps, and I hope that we see you at our next Positivity class. They're usually Saturday mornings at 9.30 a.m. Mountain Standard Time, and we teach a range of techniques and healing ideas and techniques that can just help you and your family to live a better life. Because remember, one of my goals is to reach the tipping point of positivity in our world. And in order to do that, we must emanate positivity, kindness, love, generosity. So we'll see you next time. And remember, be kind. Well, let me answer it this way. While it's inside the box, it definitely is going to take away the hurt. And as you are dreaming and creating a world without that hurt, betrayal, that is waiting for the amends, the apology, the I'm sorry, that world is where you will begin to live. It's not about you beating yourself up. It just says, if I've played a role in it, let me look at it, let me take responsibility, let me own it, and then let me commit to never doing that again.